In this video, I'll show you how to use density as a conversion factor. Let's start with the first of three examples. In question one, we're asked, the mass of fuel in a jet must be calculated before each flight to ensure that the jet is not too heavy to fly. A 747 jet is fueled with 173,231 liters of jet fuel. If the density of the fuel is 0 0.768 grams per centimeters cubed, what is the mass of the fuel in kilograms? Let's start by writing out what we know. We know that the jet requires 173,231 liters, and this is a measured number. So this has six significant figures. We also know that the density is 0 0.768. This is also a measured number. So this has three significant figures. Therefore, our final answer, whatever it is, has to have three significant figures. Our first step is to convert this number to milliliters. And then from there, convert milliliters to centimeters cubed. And then subsequently use this final conversion factor to go into kilograms. Let's get started. So I'll take 100. And 73,231 liters. Multiply that by this conversion ratio, where I have 10 to the power of negative 3 liters at the bottom, and at the top I have 1 milliliter. The reason why I oriented this conversion factor so that it looks like this is because this liter unit and this liter unit will cancel out, leaving us with milliliters. Now that's not what we want, we want kilograms. So our next conversion will be to multiply this product by this conversion factor. So I'll multiply this by one milliliter at the bottom and at the top I'll write down one centimeter cubed. This will cancel out the milliliter unit and now we're left with centimeters cubed. To go from centimeters cubed to grams we use the density. Our density is 0 0.768 grams per centimeters cubed. So if I multiply this by the following I end up with a number that's strictly in grams. Let's go ahead and do that. So we multiply this product by 0 0.768 grams per centimeters cubed. So the centimeters cubed and the centimeters cubed will cancel out. And you have to be very careful with this density. You can actually flip it if you needed to. So instead of putting this at the top, you could have put it at the bottom and centimeters cubed at the top. But this works for us. So now we have an answer that is in grams. We want an answer that is in kilograms, so this final conversion factor is what we have to use to multiply. I'll make some more space. So we'll multiply this by that last conversion factor where I'll put 1,000 grams at the bottom and one kilogram at the top. This gram unit and this gram unit will cancel out, leaving us with the highlighted unit. Now we have to perform the calculation using our calculator. Let's start with the numerator. So I'm going to multiply all the numerators together. This number, this number, this number, this number, and this number. We don't have to worry about the one, so I'll just multiply this with that, and then divide by this number times this number. Let's go ahead and do that. 173,231 times, I'll ignore these three, decimal, 768 divided by 10 to the power of negative 3 times 1000. This gives me 133,041 kilograms. I'll take into account significant figures after I write this number down. Like I said at the beginning, we want three significant figures. So anything written after this three isn't significant. We have to write this either in scientific notation or write it out like this. 133000 kilograms or you can write it as 1.33 times 10 to the power of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 kilograms. Both of these numbers represent three significant figures. Now that we've found the answer, we can move on to questions 2 and 3. Except, we'll leave questions 2 and 3 for part 2 of this video, so make sure that you continue watching to see the solutions to questions 2 and 3. So there you have it. That is how to convert using density.